G'day everybody and welcome to my final episode of my CRTO journey. So last night I was able to secure the sixth flag required in the exam to be able to successfully pass. I still have two days and about 26 hours left in the exam so I might jump back in just to see if I can get the last two. Overall my exam experience was quite positive however there were two kind of issues that uh, impeded progress a little bit and I'll go through these now. The first one was environment stability. So I was able to get in, get the first flag within half an hour or so, it was pretty easy. But then I had an issue in the environment which made me have to revert the entire lab. Um, then following the exact same process using the exact same, let's just say, files, I could just not get back in. And it was horribly inconsistent and I don't know, don't exactly know why. Then it took a further couple of further reverts just to get it to be able to accept things again again using the exact same files and everything so i'm not too sure what happened there um, the second issue was for those who started this course maybe a couple of months ago and are looking at taking the exam now so if you started the course before the crto 2 update then jumping back into the course uh, everything's going to be all different places so the content's really been shuffled up a lot and I also found some of the, the commands didn't work as well as what they used to. So all I'm going to say is if you were like me and you did learn on the old materials and then it got updated and you want to do, it, do the exam, really, really, really take the time to familiarize yourself with the update because some things I just had a really hard time getting to work properly with these new materials I hadn't tried out in the lab. So after the flag two, I was able to pretty much cruise directly to the finish line because I, all, I felt it reflected the course material pretty well. And that also, and that matches what people have been saying that if you know the course material well, you should be able to pass the exam with a few little twists and turns along the way. I did this exam in about two sittings. So the first I s spent about 12 hours straight. That was on the first day. Um, and eight hours of that 12 hours was just trying to get back to where I was before the revert. Then on day two, I did pretty much an eight, nine hour stint to go from flag two all the way to flag six. So as I mentioned, I still got time left. I might go have a look at seven and eight later on today. So overall, I thought the exam was quite fair and the course material was quite good. I've definitely learned a lot of ways to be more stealthy throughout red team engagements and more techniques on how to move laterally to achieve your goals. So I highly recommend anybody who's thinking about checking it out to give it a go because in hindsight it is pretty cheap compared to what, what else is out there. And again, if you want to check out this course, I do have an affiliate link in the description, which goes a long way to helping support this channel. So after having CRTO done, I'm now looking at picking my assist back up because this has been something that has kind of been lingering in the background for multiple years as well. So I would like to, yeah, get that done and look more towards that sort of direction. Anyway, thank you for those who have sticked around and watched my CRTO journey. It was great having you along with me. Other than that, just a quick update. I will be launching my second YouTube channel soon. Basically, I'm splitting out all my documentaries and cyber journalism sort of stuff into a second channel and having this one just dedicated to education, uh, career advice and sort of hacking tips and things like that. So be sure to subscribe to that when I get the link and everything sorted out. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.